Hello and welcome back to EV Swap. I'm Jimmy and I'm a car enthusiast. I love cars of all types, but here at EV Swap, we take cars that are gas and convert them to electric. Let's get into it. Thanks for joining us again here at EV Swap. I got some more updates on the Frontier. So we've been working on the battery, the high voltage main battery for the truck. And I showed you one half of it last week. This week, I've got the other half assembled and mocked up. This is how it started with the full plate up here. And then I trimmed it down um, to this size plate. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Um, the boxes are gonna be pretty much identical, except this box here on the passenger side is gonna be, um, have the plate just right here, close up. Whereas this one is gonna have more space in this section and we're gonna have a gap where we put the contactor box, um, the fuse, the plug and all that stuff here on the side of the box. Cause on the truck we have more room on the driver's side than we do here. Here we have about 14 inches and over here we have 17 inches. So it gives us a little bit more space where we can put the contactors and all that stuff. So I've got some cool conduit pass-throughs that we can use for the stock Nissan 2 watt wiring. And we'll use this flexible conduit as well. And that'll be the connection between the one half of the pack to the other half of the pack will be through these conduit. Then I've got these uh, gore style vents, which will let in pressure in and out, but they won't let moisture or dust. So we've got to, we'll put two on this box and we'll put two on this box. And lastly, I got these really cool hinges for the charge port. And so they open like that. Um, so I'll actually mount them underneath and uh, the charge port door lid will be closed. And then um, this will open up and that the charge port lid will open and then you can plug in the charger and then you can uh, close them back down again. And I got the two of them for the one charge port cover that I'm gonna try to 3D print. Another tip, if you're a DIYer and you're pulling apart a factory Nissan pack or any other EV pack, uh, this is just a tip that you want to keep in mind. So each one of these small gauge wires goes to the BMS. So this plug here, these go to the BMS and then each one of these are what they call cell taps. So this is how the BMS knows the voltage of every single cell. There's 96 cells in this pack. Some packs have even more than that. So what I've done is I've marked on here, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way through the whole bus bar so that when I transplant this into the new battery box, I'll be able to line up these numbers exactly on every cell in the correct order. And I won't have to worry about the plugs, the wiring. It'll just be really easy and, and quick and simple. And then a couple more updates on the truck, just some small things. We've got in the brass adapters now. So these uh, adapters fit super snug and nice in the silicone hoses. Just, oh man, like really nice fit. And then we've got the hose clamps that we'll use to hose clamp those on there, hose clamp both sides. And then this is the three quarter inch tubing and these brass uh, adapters fit in there real snug and nice too. So we got the cooling system pretty much done. So I'll be able to plumb the rest of the underhood cooling and get it filled with coolant um, just as soon as, as we want basically. So I'll probably start doing that on Monday. Uh, the priority right now is getting the high voltage battery box finalized. I have every, all the panels catted except one panel. I still have to do um, some more CAD work on the computer to design all the cutouts and also on the very top panel, I'm trying to make it so I can fold the edges and fold in the middle and have like a really nice geometric fitment and um, nice bolts all the way along, all around the outside so that the top can come on and off. So anyway, uh, I also ordered aluminum for that. We're gonna go with a quarter inch plate at the very bottom and on the ends and then the side panels and the top are gonna be eighth inch aluminum and that's 50-52. Uh, so that's gonna be, I think, perfectly strong. Stout, it's gonna be um, lightweight, everything that you would want in a battery box. And then we're gonna have to fabricate some sort of mounts to mount those boxes into the chassis, which compared to the rest of it, that part's gonna be the easy part. So thanks again for watching another week in the shop. 
We've got the awesome snow outside, which is just so much fun to drive my Land Cruiser in with the super responsive electric motor. And uh, I hope you guys have an excellent weekend and we'll see you here in the shop again next week. Thanks for watching.